What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and today I'm covering Venusaur in Pokemon Unite Master Rank Solo Queue. And Venusaur is still an absolute beast of a Pokemon, even though after all those nerfs hit him. And now people are moving on to the Solar Beam variant. However, I have stuck it out, and I am still a Petal Dance Giga Drain main on Venusaur. And the reason why is Venusaur is so much of a problem when he runs into your team and pedal dance just gives you that constant aoe damage which is great for offense and for defending goals especially in the late game as it will do damage so they can't score and giga's range just gives you that extra sustain in fights and it does a good amount of burst damage as well so they nerfed giga drain uh by a good amount honestly it was broken before and now it's very balanced the big difference was they lowered the damage by a little bit but mostly the damage reduction that you receive when you use giga drain dropped from 40 percent to 35 percent Venusaur, however, is still a beast, and I am having a lot of success with this current item build of Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, and Muscle Band, just so we can get as many third boosted auto attacks as possible with that Muscle Band, and we get a lot of extra tankiness with the other two items as we can just stay in combat for longer. And let's dive into some live gameplay commentary. All right, guys, so we're playing Venusaur up in the bottom lane. So bottom or top is great for Venusaur. And I do want to mention that the patch did not nerf Venusaur's early game at all. So 1 to 4 is going to be exactly the same for this build with Venusaur. So it's, it's pretty solid overall. Definitely one of the stronger laning Pokemon in the game. And we have an Alolan Ninetales with us in Mastering Solo Queue. Which is pretty cool. As we're going to have a lot of Sun support. And they got a Pikachu on their side. So we got to watch out for some crowd control. And I'm going to play a little bit safe. With this, I just want to guarantee my level 4 curves because I don't want to really mess with Pikachu right now. <laughs> and yeah, so the nerfs really start affecting Bulbasaur at level 5, but it's still good with Giga Drain overall uh, as the only difference was mainly the 5% damage reduction here. And looks like our lane partner and our jungler are here and ready to go. So we can launch an assault and get some big pickups. And their jungler's here, but they're going to go down to... Oh my goodness, I got a nice stun. I'm going to go for a score, try to hit level 4. And I'm going to bring out the gun. I died, but it was all worth it. We picked up some good points. I think a little bit of better play would have been killing the Froakie, but it worked out pretty well for us overall. Our teammates were able to get a lot of that farm. And I was able to pick up a nice little score as well. But overall, that worked out really well as a gank. I just got to hit level 5. And they don't really want to play too aggressive with us either. So this is working out really great. And I got that last hit. And now we're in the house with some Giga Drain action. All right. So if you were playing Giga Drain Pedal Dance before, not too much has changed in your play style except that you can't just run into four people and hit and win the game. You know, you got to be a little bit more methodical this time around, but overall, it's still strong. And we got that Pikachu down pretty low and our Town Flame's here, so we're going to make another move. And they saw the Town Flame. Definitely did not sneakily come into lane here. And I do want to mention, you know, Matt, this is mastering solo queue. So... You know, you never know what your teammates are going to be like. And so far, it's been so good with this team. I'm really enjoying it. And we're actually going to take this. Unfortunately, my score did not come in. But, you know, this is huge as we're going to have a great Dreadnought fight. As they're not going to really have any defensive options. And I think they're all going to be pushing towards the Rotom instead. And our top lane did not lose lane either. So we're in a wonderful situation overall. I really can't think of a better situation than mastering solos. I do want to mention, I do play a lot of Mastering Solos on this channel just because I feel like this is the authentic way that people play this game currently. You know, a lot of people are exclusively solo players like me, and we managed to pick that up. Big pickup, taking out our Pikachu, getting a nice assist up on the uh, Frogadier, and we're going to go in for some scores. They're going to probably, oh, they don't have to jump in yet, so we're going to get a nice 26. This is massive. I'm going to flash out of there just to, you know, escape, just to guarantee it. But we are really far ahead as a team right now. I can't believe it. It's before the five-minute mark. I mean, we, you know, I, we may have to go 
kick this dude out if he keeps staying up here. Ah, uh, they're gonna go. Oh my god, we actually took the top lane. Want to hit level? Yeah, they're gonna get the road almost just fine. It's not a big deal. As I'm gonna make them earn this rotom. Big pickup, and I got Venusaur. Trying to, I was trying to pick up the kill over there, just in case the Lucario was gonna be able to get it. There's no way we're cashing greed in there. No shot we're casting Greedent. Greedent definitely one of the best Pokemon in the game right now, and absolutely a monster. When tricks like that ultimate and just with Kovet, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, so far so good. I mean, at this point of the game with Venusaur, you just really want to start farming. Uh, so Petal Dance didn't get nerfed at all, which is so Petal Dance is as good as usual. You really want to hit level 13 with Venusaur. That is our goal. We may or may not hit that goal depending on how well our team fights go and depending if I decide to focus on farm or attacking opponents. Farm is more consistent, but I really pop off in lane, then this would be massive. And that's another kill, and we're starting to pop off a little bit here. Oh man, we're popping off. We're popping off. I got picked off, unfortunately, but you know, getting on all those assists is gonna be great for our levels overall at the end of the day. And we're gonna have to get this Dreadnought. Looks like, oh man, yeah, this Garchomp is getting a little bit unleashed right now though, but we're back into the game. I'm gonna go down to bot and work on this uh, Dreadnought and hopefully take this Dreadnought really quickly and then we can work on something like that uh, Rotom. And she's Alton. And that's an easy pickup. Easy pickup. If I die now, it's worth it. And that's another. I'm just getting all of the assists here. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it though. Assists are still good. And we'll farm our way up to the Rotom because we did have a really good team fight there. I mean, Venusaur just has that extra sustain. Like, you can really just walk into, like, still, even though you can't walk into, like, four or five enemies anymore and win, you can still walk into two or three and still have a decent chance of winning that fight if you play it out well. I'm just going to try to take this to get that level 12. And now I'm in a good spot because, what, we have about a minute and a half left of farming. And we can pick up a couple more kills. I'm, I'm looking low, though. Oh my goodness. Was, oh my goodness. We were able to at least pick up the Pikachu there, but man. I was like, I got really low fast, so you gotta watch out. If you do run into a big team fight like that, Venusaur can't get taken out. I mean, the Absol, he, he actually went in with us with that Quattro, but that's all good. I mean, we're in a good place with Venusaur. I would say Venusaur is overall very... He's not broke. He's very balanced. He's very strong, but he's very balanced. But yeah, we can... Uh, if we take these Aldinos here... Hopefully, if no one interrupts us, we take these Aldinos. Yeah, that's an easy level 13. And then we're going to move over to the Dreadnought. So yeah, now, now we're in business. This is where you want to be. If you're playing Venusaur, make sure to get to level 13 as... You want you need to get that boosted uh, pedal dance. It's so helpful, especially in the size increase of this AOE is game winning. Honestly, it's just unless it you hit more enemies, and it can be a great method of defending a goal. I mean, look at this. You cover the entire goal if you set directly in the center and more. You really can't ask for anything else. We're not going to be able to get this, but it was worth a shot. Unfortunately, the greedent. I don't know what that greeting was doing, but we're in a good spot overall. And we're going to head to the center here. I'm just going to have to watch out for something like Absol. All right, guys. We need our defender. We need Blastoise to make. Of course, I didn't realize our Blastoise did not have surface the entire time. But we're going to get a pickup on Pikachu. Easy pickup. We're going to have the ult to survive. We, we need to take out this Absol or this Greninja. There we go. 
There we go. Fortunately, Garchomp takes us out, but that's all good. Get a nice assist on that. I mean, there's so many kills in that team fight. That, we got a triple there. This is a tough situation here. I would, I mean, you have to go for it. You have to go for this after. I just realized that was five people down. Unfortunately, our team is not going for it. And it has me worried right here. This could be a potential they steal a situation. And luckily, we got it. I was about to say, I didn't notice the five dead. So always pay attention to who's dead on the opponent's team in the top right of your screen. But that's a wrap right there. That's an easy win for us. As we're going to get 100 points in the score down here. Even if they get a couple, it's just not going to be as easy as us. And now at this point, we just uh, maybe try to get a couple more points up in here. All right, we got a little bit of lag there. I don't know what happened with this Garge Haunt, but I'll take that extra 22 at the end to cap off the game. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Let's see what this score is. Ends up being a massive dub for us in Master Solo Queue. And, man, oh, man, Venusaur is, is still my main Pokemon. I, I will never drop this Pokemon. He is just so good. He's I would say he's an easy A tier. And we got the MVP. I mean, 159 points, but 9 kills, 14 assists, 84 overall. And we're getting the most healing, the most attacker kills on our team as well. Just killing it. Overall, man, Venusaur is an incredible Pokemon. And definitely use Petal Dance, Giga Drain. You won't regret it. It's such a good loadout. And, of course, the items are, once again, Buddy Barrier, Focus Band, and Muscle Band. And you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time with more Pokemon Unite action. Peace out and have a great one.